Welcome to video number six, Other Pharmacological Interventions for Insomnia Disorder. The neuropeptide orexin plays an important role in the stabilization and maintenance of wakefulness by reinforcing wake-promoting signaling in the brain via G-protein-coupled orexin receptors, namely orexin-1 and orexin-2 receptors. Orexins are key to the vigilance state control, as shown dramatically by the profound sleep-wake state instability in patients with narcolepsy who develop near-complete loss of orexin neurons. Dual orexin receptor antagonists, or DORAs, including suorexan, lamborexan, and deridorexan, have been FDA-approved for the treatment of insomnia disorder. DORAs have been shown to improve sleep latency, sleep efficiency, and wake after sleep onset time. DORAs also increase total sleep time primarily by promoting REM sleep. DORAs have been recommended for sleep onset and sleep maintenance insomnia with more prominent effects on the latter. Currently, Soborexant at the dosages of 10 to 20 milligrams nightly, Lamborexant at the dosages between 5 to 10 milligram nightly, and Deridorexant 25 to 50 milligrams dosage range nightly have been recommended for treatment of insomnia disorder. On a good note, DORAs are not associated with tolerance, rebound insomnia, and withdrawal upon abrupt discontinuation. DORAs have been shown to have absent respiratory effects during sleep, which could be of value in patients with comorbid insomnia and obstructive sleep apnea. DORAs may have some abuse potential, and therefore these medications are DA Schedule Four medications. DORAs are contraindicated in patients with narcolepsy, a condition characterized by deficiency of orexin. Common side effects include somnolence, abnormal dreams, fatigue, and dry mouth. Remelteon, at the dose of 8 mg, acts as melatonin-1 and melatonin-2 receptor agonist. Remelteon has been shown to decrease sleep onset latency in patients with insomnia disorder, and therefore it has been recommended for sleep initiation insomnia. Remelteon has no addiction potential, and it has not been associated with tolerance, rebound insomnia, and withdrawal symptoms. The side effects of this medication include nausea, dizziness, tiredness, and drowsiness. Doxepin, a tricyclic antidepressant with selective affinity for histamine receptor at low dosages, is FDA approved for insomnia disorder at dosages of 3 to 6 milligrams nightly. Its safety and efficacy for insomnia treatment has been demonstrated in the elderly patients at dosages of 1 to 3 milligrams nightly. Use of doxepin has been associated with reduced wake after sleep onset time, increased sleep efficiency, and total sleep time for up to five weeks with little effect on sleep latency in clinical trials. Due to its effect on wake after sleep onset time, it is indicated for sleep maintenance insomnia complaints. Doxepin is not associated with rebound insomnia and withdrawal effects upon discontinuation, and it has not been shown to have any addiction potential. Side effects of doxepin use include nausea, vomiting, dizziness, and dry mouth. All patients with insomnia disorder should be recommended cognitive behavioral therapy for insomnia, or CBTI, as a primary intervention as it carries significantly favorable benefit-risk ratio. Medications should be recommended for patients who are unable to participate in CBTI who still have symptoms despite participation in such treatments or in select cases as a temporary adjunct to CBTI. Clinicians should perform a comprehensive initial evaluation including a detailed history of sleep complaints, medical and psychiatric history, medication use, and substance use. These factors together with patient preferences and treatment availability should be used to select specific treatments for specific patients. American Academy of Sleep Medicine recommends use of Remelteon, Zaleplon, Esopiclone, Triazolam, and Temazepam for sleep onset insomnia. For treatment of sleep maintenance insomnia, American Academy of Sleep Medicine recommends use of Doxepin, Suvorexan, Esopiclone, Zolpidem, Extended Release, and Temazepam. It is preferable to use lowest effective dosages in adults and even lower dosages in elderly and in women for certain compounds. The FDA mandated a lowered starting dose for 
Zolpidem, Zolpidem ER, and Esopiclone in women as compared to men. The patient should be advised to take the medication 30 to 45 minutes before the desired bedtime, and the patient should be allowed 7 to 8 hours in bed, or at least 4 hours when using a Zolpidem sublingual formulation or Zeloplon for middle of the night insomnia. Caution should be exercised in patients with respiratory and hepatic impairment, those with substance use disorders, and those already taking sedatives or using alcohol. Gradual dose reduction is recommended when discontinuing hypnotic agents. Continued long-term efficacy and safety studies, including both placebo-controlled double-blind studies and open-label studies, ranging from 3 to 12 months, have demonstrated that zolpidem, zoloplon, esopiclon, remelteon, toxapin, and subonexan retain their efficacy without tolerance, abuse, or withdrawal effects. Thus, clinicians may use hypnotics long-term if necessary. The need for continued use should be reassessed periodically. Periodic follow-up visits are recommended for patients with chronic use, and patients should be advised to consider cognitive behavioral therapy for insomnia, or CBTI, which can help them successfully wean off the hypnotic agents. Key points, medications including melatonin agonists, histamine receptor antagonists, and dual orexin receptor antagonists have been approved for treatment of insomnia disorder. Remelteon, a melatonin agonist, is indicated for sleep initiation insomnia. Doxepin, a histamine receptor antagonist at low dosages, is indicated for sleep maintenance insomnia. Doras, including suorexant, lemborexant, and deridorexant, have shown efficacy for sleep onset and sleep maintenance insomnia.